I'm just pointing out Peter's spelling mistake. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Biomechics. Biomechics. <laughs> okay, there we go. I thought it looked a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, it does look a bit odd. Uh, so why is rider bar mechanics so important? Well, you know, believe it or not, uh, when you get on your horse and you're riding around the arena, you are doing your version of rider bar mechanics. You can not help but do so because rider bar mechanics is the way with which you ride, the way you do the the, the, the riding, the rising trot, how you get your horse to go around, all of that is rider bar mechanics. And we all go around do, doing some version of rider bar mechanics, some more efficient than others. So, so I'm going to say here that um, my colleague Heather Blitz, who's one of the US team riders, she likes to say that the laws of biomechanics work on all riders in the same way that the laws of gravity works on all apples. And your body is up there. You have your weight, you have your stillness, you have your movement, you have your asymmetry, your center of gravity is in the right place or the wrong place. You're wiggling and jiggling. You're sitting quiet and still. You're like a sack of potatoes or you're supporting your own body weight. And the horse is reading your body. He cannot not do that. So whatever else you think you're doing to your horse, you actually cannot not influence just by virtue of how your body is, where it is. So we like to say that riders have their thumbprint and they have their bum print. And the horse is reading your bum print in a way that he probably knows more about you than you know about yourself. Yeah, and they, that's how they communicate with each other, isn't it? So, um, you know, how... I've got a good question here. What percentage of my teaching is school movements and how much is rider biomechanics? Um... Well, you know, when I see a person in front of me, they're usually coming for some help with their riding tests. You know, I do a lot of practice tests as well. So the big question I ask is, what would I fix first to get this person closer to a 10 for each of the movements that they're doing in dressage? So sometimes that's rider biomechanics. Um, sometimes that's how they understand uh, the shapes that they're making, the requirements of the test, um, how much impulsion the horse may or may not have, and, and so on. And, you know, if, if it's their rider biomechanics, the how of what they're doing is interfering with, you know, getting closer to a 10, then I'll work on that as well. But, you know, in reality, most of it is rider biomechanics anyway. So when I teach somebody to do a better shaped circle uh, or to make a better transition or to get more impulsion, we're explaining to them what they have to do with their body to make that happen.